Hi everyone, it's Megan. Welcome back to Rogers Reads, or welcome for the first time. Uh, so today I wanted to talk about Raisin in the Sun, which was my first read for Ripsat. This was written by Lorraine Hansberry in 1958. Uh, if you're not familiar with it, it is a play. And basically it is about an African American family and their trials and tribulations um, in one short period of time. It takes over, it takes place over about two weeks. Um, and I don't want to tell you too much because I want you to read it if you haven't already. But um, I want to talk about some of, the th some of the themes that are covered in this short play. Uh, it's, my copy is only 150 pages, but that includes the introduction. Uh, the play starts on about page 23, so it's really only five pages. Um, so basically, the f one of the first themes of the play is the idea of the American dream. Um, success, being able to have a place of one's own, uh, to be able to support your family, uh, to be able to take care of your children, provide for your children. The idea that goes along with that is the idea of home. And you see that in more than just the idea of wanting to have a, a safe structure to live in, but, um, but also just a sense of belonging. Um, you also see that in the sister in the play, Benita, is looking for her roots um, and wanting to learn more about Africa and knowing where she comes from. Also to do with Benita, since we're talking about her, is feminism. I enjoyed her character. She is spunky and independent and personality, and I really enjoyed her. Uh, next is the theme of family and unconditional love. The m character of Mama, uh, Lena, in this play, um, really just shows unconditional love to each of her children, uh, even though there's things about them and decisions that they make that she might not quite agree with. She loves them and she supports them as best she can. It's just, all together, it's really a timeless story that, although it is about <clears throat> an African-American family and uh, what they experienced in America during the early civil rights period, I really feel like it's something that anyone could find uh, things that they can relate to. Every family, regardless of, of race, wants to take care of each other and to be able to provide a safe home for their children. I wanted to share a couple quotes. Uh, first of all, I wanted to share at the beginning of this part, I don't know if it's a part of a Langston Hughes poem or a complete poem. I unfortunately at this point have not read any Langston Hughes, but it is on my list. I definitely want to read some of his work. What happens to a dream deferred? Does it dry up like a raisin in the sun or fester like a sore and then run? Does it stink like rotten meat, or crust and sugar over, like a syrupy sweet? Maybe it just sags, like a heavy load, or does it explode? And that's more than just the title of the play, it really um, kind of sums up um, one, of the, one of the themes of the play. And I also wanted to share a quote um, about from Mama uh, that kind of covers the unconditional love theme. She said, child, when do you think is the time to love somebody the most? When they done good and made things easy for everybody? Well then you ain't through learning, because that ain't the time at all. It's when he's at his lowest and can't believe in himself, because the world done whipped him so. When you starts measuring somebody, measure him right, child, measure him right. Make sure you done taking into account what hills and valleys he come through before he got to wherever he is. I really encourage, if you have read some, some or a lot of African American literature but somehow missed this, uh, you should definitely check it out. It's a quick, easy read, it's easy to understand, it's easy to follow. Um, if you are like me and really have not read as much African American literature as you would like to, or um, that's one of my goals this year is to really 
try to catch up on all the African American literature that I missed in my education. Uh, I've never read a play before. I'm concerned that you won't be able to follow along or um, that you won't completely understand it. This is a really simple play, and if you still just feel a little nervous about it, I borrowed two of the uh, play slash turned into movies um, from my library. And I watched one last night, and wa I just finished the other one. Uh, Raisin in the Sun, the original, um, was actually put out uh, 1961, I think this is getting bad. But yeah, I'm pretty sure this is 1961. Uh, a version with Sidney Poitier and Ruby D. This is probably the one you've heard of. Um, it follows the play pretty close, if not exactly. It'd be a great place to start. It just help you get to know the storyline and maybe make you feel a little more comfortable with reading the play. 2008, a uh, made-for-TV movie version was made with Felicia Rashad, Sean Combs, Audra McDonald. So this, this one had a little extra, I think it had a few extra scenes outside of the apartment, more to it. And I really enjoyed it. Um, great acting. This is out of reading the play, watching the Sidney Poitier version, and watching this, uh, this is the one that made me tear up the most at the end, <laughs> if that means anything to you. I'm not one who really cries easily, but this one uh, is the one I teared up the most. So that's basically it for this. Definitely check it out if you've read it already. Uh, I'd love to hear from you uh, in the comments. Have a great day.